In today's video, we're gonna go over some creepy TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. All of this is a distraction. This is a distraction. The Baltimore Bridge collapse is a distraction. Everything that's been going on these past couple weeks has been a distraction for what's really finna come. You guys do realize that this man tweeted out that March 26th, something bad was gonna happen in Baltimore, and Twitter deleted it right away. But they didn't tell you that. So let's talk about what's really finna happen. And no, I'm not talking about the solar eclipse on April 8th. But you guys do know how everybody's saying on April 8th, you know, this major solar eclipse. People are coming with all kinds of conspiracies, right? People are saying that there's going to be a power outage. We're going to lose our cell service and how they're, you know, putting National Guard down and everything like that. You guys remember this company? If you guys don't know what this company is, they have this big ass operation going on. They have what's called a Large Hadron Collider. What their goal is, is to find dark matter or what they call the God Particle. You guys don't think this is serious? Their operation has the potential to create so much power that they can make a black hole on Earth. Guys, this is the statue that's out in front of their lab. A statue of Shiva with a portal around her. You guys understand what I'm saying here? These scientists have been working at CERN for a very long time now, and every year they get closer and closer to their goal. And what is their goal, bruh? Now see, a lot of you don't even notice because you've been asleep for so long. Are y'all worried about P. Diddy? The cargo ship crashing to the bridge, presidential election, Jeffrey Epstein, all this other stuff that's been going on in the world for the past couple of years. These scientists have been working underground, trying to create a portal. Well, today is the day for the eclipse. Happy Eclipse Day. Let's hope for the best. With that being said, it does make me wonder if all of these things are a distraction from something more, even more from CERN. I, I don't even know if CERN is necessarily the big part of this distraction. I think there might be something distracting us from that even, like something else is out there that's more important than CERN, than the eclipse, than anything that's been going on, and they're just trying to keep us away from it altogether. Do you guys think that there might be something else out there that's bigger and more important than CERN, the eclipse, and all the other things that are in the media at the moment, and we're just not aware of it? And if you have any idea what it could be, Leave a comment down below letting me know and letting the world know because there's probably something else out there that's taking place that's way more important than all of this. She felt like someone was watching her and as she looked around, she saw this. A woman by the name Vidi posted a terrifying video where she explains that she felt like someone was watching her only to find this. So on the real. Okay. Vale, quitar un poquito la luz. No de leche. inside the wall and I can be seen staring at her. We didn't try to scare it away by hitting the wall, but it wouldn't move. Some viewers believe this could simply be an owl who found his way inside the wall, where others are convinced something sinister watches her. I'm not gonna lie, when I seen it, I thought it was also an owl eye. I I would not be able to handle that. I would have to bust that wall down or something or poke it in the eye because that's just too freaky and it needs to get out of there because this is my place, not yours. <laughs> what do you guys think that was? I do personally think that that might have been an owl eye, but it was really big. It was pretty terrifying looking. I gotta show you something that I don't know how to explain at all. Either the government is building something insane or this is aliens Why? Well, what is it you know google earth right yeah do you have google earth on your phone probably not but i'm probably just gonna google and... okay well i will do it on my phone real quick yeah google and earth I will on show your phone? you yes i'll punch in these coordinates on my phone myself and what i see is so wild mike pretty much bro when you punch in these coordinates on google earth it will take you to this random part of the earth that's like a barren wasteland for miles there's nothing no town or whatever and the only way i can explain this thing is it looks like like a portal or something dude Tough. don't know how to explain this i don't know what this looks like mike that's the best way i can describe it all around it for miles are hella tanks defending it i swear to god for miles dude the hella tanks spread out you can't even get close to it and this how is many real tanks, and this is real what the f i'll show you right now let me see all right first i just pasted this month okay look it's in there yep what the f 
is this? Let me see. And then zoom and look around all over the desert. What the f*** is this? Mike. It's like a Death Star. Go around the whole desert. Oh, sh No, there actually is like tanks. Keep going. They're hella spread out. Hell of them. What the f***? Hell of them. But dude, what is that black? And there's like something like a looking across from it that like mirrors it too. What is that? Where is this? Let me zoom out. But that's in America. But that's in California. But it's for sure hundreds of tanks. Dude. All around though. Cause they're, and you see how they're all pointing away from it. Yeah, they're low-key blending in. Bruh, Mike. Dude, there's hell of them. <laughs> I've been seeing this float around on TikTok now for the past day or so. I'm curious, what is that? Do you guys have any idea what that could be? And I'm surprised that Google Earth has it shown and it's not been blurred out. It probably will be in the future pretty soon. But to have it so open and there is tanks surrounding it as if it's something to protect, I don't know at all what that could be. So leave a comment down below if you have any idea because I'm pretty curious. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day. And to the people that are subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. And to the people that are not subscribed to the channel but keep watching my content, I still appreciate you nonetheless. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you want to be a part of Questions for DK, leave a comment down below starting with Question for DK so that I can find it in the YouTube search filter and have an episode where I answer these questions, whether they're about conspiracy theories, theories, or personal questions that are not too personal. I won't answer those. So if you want to be a part of Questions for DK, leave a comment down below with Question for DK, and I'll get to that comment in a future video. You know David Copperfield? Famous illusionist, magician? Yeah. Magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he says his next trick will be to make the moon disappear. And he says, we have multiple methods to make it work. And then he goes on to say, it's for the Save the Children Foundation. And his quote was, if one man can make the moon disappear from the sky, imagine what we can do to make hunger, poverty, and danger go away for children. He's been testing it for the past few months, and people have reported the moon disappearing. Uh-oh. They have, like, their star finder out, and they're like, and the moon trackers, like, all this stuff. And the moon Moon's supposed to be right there mm -hmm. and there's no moon he said yeah people have been reporting seeing strange things in the sky like the moon disappearing all over the country and he asked if any one of you sees something strange in the sky please report it to me because i want to figure out if the tests are going too early and then this is all happening the official disappearing of the moon will happen in february 2024 people are like where's the moon now that's the theory we are literally in a truman show could it be we're in an orb and that moon isn't real and then we're just in like in las vegas the sphere mm. we're just in one big sphere dude mm. I, I don't really know how that's going to be possible i don't really think it could be possible to be honest I, I don't know i don't believe this what do you guys think this next person says she feels like she's experiencing a glitch in the matrix this is right up our alley we need to watch okay so i'm loki freaking out right now i feel like i'm experiencing one of those um glitch in the matrix moments you ever see people talk about those on here i'm upstairs um in our airbnb we have guests coming today, so I've been cleaning it and whatnot. I have most of the rooms done. Um, about an hour ago, I did the bathroom. I cleaned it top to bottom. I swept, as you can see, the broom. I mopped and everything. So I just went to walk in here to double check to make sure the floors look good. And this is laying on the bathroom floor, okay? Hold on. And this is from a necklace that my husband got me for Christmas a few years ago. I wear it a lot, but I have not been wearing it for the last couple weeks because I've been wearing my gold necklaces. And like I said, I just cleaned this whole bathroom top to bottom and did the floors not even an hour ago. And I have not worn this necklace in weeks, so now I have to go downstairs and look at all my jewelry and see if I have the chain for it in its usual spot. So if we come into my bedroom, I always keep my most worn necklaces right here. Okay, literally, I know it. This is the chain. Yes, this is the chain that it usually sits on. And that was just upstairs on my fucking bathroom floor in the Airbnb. I cannot stress enough that I have not worn this necklace in at least a couple weeks. Because like I said, I have been wearing my gold necklaces religiously. I haven't even taken them off to sleep or shower. I am never going to be able to explain this and it's going to drive me absolutely insane. I'm very happy that I did find it though because I would have been upset if I lost this. I really love this necklace. My husband has good taste. What the fuck though? 
Bye. It's in the Airbnb part. It sounds like the Airbnb part is upstairs and she lives downstairs. I don't know if I'm interpreting that correctly, but that's what it seems like to me. There's a possibility, I would think, that maybe someone who was staying in the Airbnb went down into their house, maybe when they weren't home. They were like snooping around and maybe they took that part of the necklace and uh, then they went upstairs, you know, back to the Airbnb and maybe they just dropped it. Maybe they put it in their pocket and it fell out. Like that's all I can think of. Otherwise, how would it get from downstairs to upstairs? I would say a glitch in the matrix if she found that on the floor, she went back downstairs and she had that same one on the chain in her room and that was like a duplicate piece of it. Or you could just have some like mischievous little spirits that like to play with jewelry and maybe they were just like, oh, let's hide this. Let's hide this one or let's like put that here. You know what? Actually, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm sitting here giving like realistic explanations that uh, she had. I forgot. I completely forgot that she had just swept and washed those floors. And then that thing was in the middle of the floor. So that can't be. That couldn't have been left by the last people because she just swept and mopped the entire floors. And then it was in the middle. You definitely have like a little mischievous spirit. Maybe the fae or maybe just like a little spirit that's playing tricks for funsies. I don't know. There's a lot of things that I would ask questions to aside from it being a glitch in the matrix. It could have just been an odd coincidence that maybe took the necklace off. The gym fell off the necklace. It, it latched onto her clothes somewhere. And when she went upstairs, it fell off. And when she was cleaning recently, she just swept it out of whatever corner it fell into. And now she thinks that there's a glitch in the matrix. Like this individual said, it would be more of a glitch in the matrix if she would have found that gym piece and she went to go check her necklace and the gym piece was on her necklace and it was just a duplicate of the gym. That would be a true glitch in the matrix for me, but this could just be odd coincidence. Well, that person almost lost his face. Be careful with chainsaws out there, please. Okay, I posted this video of like a vampire on some talk show not that long ago. And since then, I've been sent all these videos of supposed vampires right to get this. I mean, these people are walking through a train station, look vampire-ish, but get this one. I may be unpleasant looking on the outside, but you're ugly on the inside. And look at them eyes, but then he's definitely got the teeth. Now this one's just weird. When was the last time you fed? Uh, a nasty liver. But I may change my mind at any time. You look very tasty. But I think I like you. <laughs> Would you like to stay for tea, my friend? Now the glowing eyes can be explained by the light probably, but what is with them teeth? I don't know about vampires per se. Demons maybe in the past were confused as vampires, but I do believe that there might be another type of species that's hiding amongst ourselves. We call them lizard people today, but they could easily be demonic creatures or creatures that are human-like, but they're still beasts and animals in a way. They're just way more sophisticated than normal animals and they blend in with us. That's a theory that I always like to hold on to. Three competing extraterrestrial civilizations have been using this planet as a laboratory. What I've been told by a defense intelligence agency analyst in December of 1999, and he said, my job was to monitor and analyze the conflicting competition of three extraterrestrial biological civilizations in conflict with each other on and apparently over something about this planet for genetic manipulation for at least 270 million years. And I said, well, 270 million years is before the time of the dinosaurs. And he looked me straight in the eye and he said, one of the three competing groups made the dinosaurs as an 80 million plus year long experiment. We think it was the Ebens, the ones with the heads that are shaped like this and pear shaped chin. He said, the Ebens have demonstrated for us that they can move matter in this universe into another dimension or another timeline. 
and they do it all of the time. He said 66 million years ago, something was headed for this planet that was six miles in diameter. Was it an asteroid? Were they responsible for it? That took out 95% of surface life on Earth, including all of the dinosaurs. If this was their experiment, they could have moved that six-mile diameter object into timeline or another dimension, and there never, ever would have been any collision. What else can we conclude? But they did an 80 million plus year experiment. And then is this the way they ended it? By taking out 95% of all Earth surface life. That's a pretty interesting theory. I do like this theory. I don't know if I necessarily believe it or not, but it is a fun one to think about in a way. Uh, who's to say aliens did not create life in general on this planet as an experiment just to see what it would do for their own planet if they needed to rebuild it or put life on it. And they said, okay, we're going to test this out on this rock. We're going to give it life under these conditions and see how it works. Turns out dinosaurs became a thing. They're like, all right, we're going to watch this for 80 million years. And it just wasn't to their satisfaction. They exploded the planet, created a new test experiment, and we're a part of that now. So who's to say they aren't satisfied how we're operating now and they might do it all over again with a different type of species? Pretty interesting theory. Again, I don't know if I necessarily believe it, but it's a fun one to think about. Strange object caught on CCTV. What do you think it could be? Alien vehicle an interdimensional being, or maybe a simple photomontage. I don't know, that looks pretty real, but it also looks fake. Just to seeing all the trash explode out of each bin and all the wind waves and everything that's happening behind whatever this is, I don't know if it's real or fake. What do you guys think? From everything you know about the US government, if there was an alien spacecraft, like what do you think would happen? Would they be able to hold on to those secrets for you know decades? Uh, like, would they want to hold on to those secrets? Like, what would they do? What's your sense? I, I can't imagine that kind of exciting situation not becoming public information, mm -hmm. right? And the counter to that is this, right? Which is, this is a very strong argument for why this is a big strategic deception campaign, mm -hmm. right? Think about the... Defense Department and the air, think about how jealously they guard its airspace, right? I mean, you had a Chinese balloon flying over and the whole world went crazy, right? It was front page news. So the fact that the one element or a couple people in the Defense Department have made this statement, we've lost control of our airspace over this, this UFO, uh, alleged UFO craft that they can't explain. I don't buy that at all. But Zero. Of course, it's possible that, you know, it is alien spacecraft, if it is that, and they operate under a very different set of technological capabilities, in theory. In my interviews with Jacques Vallée, who is the kind of grandfather of all ufology, and he's such an interesting person and has such a really unique origin story about how he came into all of this. And he's such a scientist, right? And he is profoundly dedicated to this issue and stands completely on the opposite end of the spectrum from me and knows a lot more and has studied this for decades more. But what he said to me is the most interesting thing, which is that it's not a military problem, it's an intelligence problem. Because Jacques believes that this is some kind of intelligence, right? Which really... The closest I can do in, to wrapping my head around that takes me to consciousness, right? The idea of what is consciousness. And I think that's where it becomes very interesting. I mm -hmm. think the government is hiding bodies and crafts is, is very Paul Benowitz. Read it. Google it. Look yeah. into it, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think this kind of flying saucer thing is, uh, is a, a trivialization of what kind of, if there's alien civilizations out there. Trivialization. That's a great word. <laughs> Trivialization. That's, I agree with you. I tend to believe that there's 
like a very large number of alien civilizations out there. And I I believe we we would have trouble comprehending what that even looks like hmm. were they to visit. I, I tend to believe they are already here or have visited mm -hmm. and we're too dumb to understand what that even means. Mm -hmm. And they certainly would not appear as um <laughs> as uh, flying objects that defy gravity for brief moments of time on a low resolution video. Um, I tend to have humility about this, all this kind of stuff, uh, but I think radical humility is required to even like open your eyes to what an alien intelligence would actually mm -hmm. look like. And it, I, to me, it's beyond military applications. It's like the basic human question of like, what is even this thing? Like you mentioned consciousness that's mm -hmm. going on. Like, where does this come from? Mm -hmm. Why is it so powerful? Is it unique in the universe? I tend to believe not. Uh, of course, I, I hang out a bunch with, with other folks like Elon who believe we are alone. But I think that belief, just like you said, has power because it actually manifests itself in, uh, in reality. So if you believe that we're alone in this universe, that's a great motivator to build rockets and become multiplanetary and save ourselves, especially in the case of nuclear war. Uh, because otherwise, whatever this special sauce, this, this mm. flame of consciousness will go out if we destroy ourselves on this earth. And uh, for people like Elon, it's too high of a probability that we destroy ourselves on earth, mm -hmm. not to try to become multiplanetary. You know, the more I start to think about it, the more I start to believe that all of these UFO talk, all of these extraterrestrial talk might be a setup from military forces, from governmental forces to cause suspicion to other countries, to other people, to make people either scared or aware of the subject. It, it makes me wonder if all of the UFOs and alien information that we're giving by whistleblowers and stuff aren't intentionally done by government agencies to give this false perspective. Because why would I, why, why wouldn't a government controlled agency maybe here in America would not have a whistleblower talking about UFO technology and how intense it is because that means other countries are going to hear about it and it's going to bother them. It's going to worry them. It's going to make them want to advance their technology. And overall, I do think that the world, most of the high power governments, they like war and they like to cause fear to cause war to happen. If they say, hey, yeah, we're, we're reverse engineering these UFOs, that's going to make another country kind of intimidated and it's going to make them want to equip their equipment to be even better to compete with our equipment. And I, it just seems like that's where it's leading to me. It's almost making me not believe in aliens and UFOs, and it's all just a governmental psyop to cause fear and confusion to other countries that might want to implement war technology into their field of play. Maybe it's a really far off theory, but I do kind of start to believe that from time to time, especially when I hear this type of information. What do you guys think? Do you guys think there's actually aliens and UFOs? Or do you think that maybe our government and military are working on advanced equipment and they're just saying that it's extraterrestrial or it's some kind of reverse engineer super technology? You wanna know something funny? I'll be 27 at the end of April. Hold on, I'm getting there. I haven't had a friend since I was a junior in high school. I'm now almost 27 with two little kids. Please tell me why I let a group of 17 to 18 year old girls get to me like they were making fun of me. They were trying to take a selfie and I walked up and I said, would you like me to take that for you? They all turned around and snickered, and I feel like I'm back in high school. I just wish I could keep a friend. Because it sucks not having a friend. <laughs> There's a funny part, I guess. Thanks for listening.
Dang, that is pretty sad, especially seeing someone so emotional over something kind of silly in a way. I get it. Having friends is awesome. It can be a huge benefit on your own mindset. It can help a lot. Take care of your kids. Your kids can become your friend, and you should be involving that into your lifestyle if that's the case. I'm not saying that she's in the wrong, and I hope the best for her, and I hope she finds a really good friend. So just try to stay easy on yourself. Don't overthink it and the more you try to find friends the more you're going to find out that people act just like those women that basically laughed at you for wanting to take a picture of them say the weird thing people are desperately seeking realness all right then is fire alive i know that's a weird question but it's what i've been asking myself ever since i was a small child bear with me think about it for a second Fire breathes oxygen. Yes, it does. The easiest way to put out a fire is to suffocate it, to cut it off from oxygen. It also consumes matter. What kind of matter? Carbon matter, the same type of things that animals consume. So yes, fire breathes and fire eats the same way as living organisms do. It also creates waste, as you can tell from the ash here. But lastly, it reproduces. If I put the stick into a hot fire... I can create a second fire. The fire spreads, it grows, it reproduces the same way. Ow, ow. Got myself a little bit there. Don't sit too close to a fire, FYI. But yeah, fire spreads, it grows, it reproduces. You can separate it into a separate fire. So why don't we consider fire a living organism? Well, first off, it has no matter. It has no mass. Therefore, it can't be an organism. It has no organs. But is it possible that we could think of fire as a simplified version of life? That's really what I've been asking myself for the last couple decades. It is a very lively piece of element, that's for sure. But do I think it's alive? Mm, sorta. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that fire is a living creature? Or do you think that all elements are a living creature? Or do you think that they're just some kind of chemical reaction that seems alive, but it's just that, a chemical reaction? Did you hear the other names that are now coming out after P. Diddy? You know what's crazy is a lot of people in the public have been calling out these celebs in high realms. People are like, Cat Williams just said it last week. Cat Williams said it last week. We've been saying this for years, bro. This croaking has been on this for like 20 years. She's like known it was going to happen before some of these dudes were even born. Still out there like, no, no, it was just Epstein by himself. There was no one else involved. Well, now we're hearing things about Prince Harry and Donald Trump has said a lot of things about how he feels about him. I wish a lot of luck to Harry because he's going to need it. Bro, this has got to be the most wildest one. 50 Cent is out here calling out Jay-Z like, where you out, bro? Where, I haven't seen him in a while. You know, I last I saw him was by, by Diddy's jet. I don't know where he's at. You know what's wild? is that as they're raiding P. Diddy's properties, it's important to know it's not just about P. Diddy, it's about all the evidence that he has on other people in those properties. See, we gonna see, we gonna find out. For four years now, I've been saying that the Lord is declaring a season of exposure. And when exposure is declared by the Lord, it gives people an opportunity to repent and turn from their wicked ways, either turn themselves in or they continue to keep running and trying to hide. But what comes next is justice. If you don't give over to the Lord's grace and repent and make things right, justice eventually shows up on your doorstep. And I believe that that is going to be coming at a very high rate of speed to many people very soon. God bless you and have a great day. Yeah, I also agree. I think a lot of people are about to go through a huge exposure on their past. And it, it just makes me wonder, when you are someone that is extremely successful, even if you're not successful, why would you put yourself in this situation like P. Diddy has done to himself? Why, if you are an extremely famous individual, you're extremely wealthy, you have life set. Why are you sex trafficking? Why are you getting involved in all of this messed up stuff as if you were just some individual on the street trying to pimp out women? 
I don't understand this concept. It, it, you are already extremely wealthy. Why are you risking your life and career over something so ridiculous, something that doesn't need to be done? If any of you have that answer, please leave a comment down below because that's something that's been bothering me for a very long time with anybody that's extremely wealthy. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As always, if you're interested in any of the clips, links are in the description down below. Today is Monday the 8th, the day of the eclipse. And with that being said, I hope everyone that is out there that's experiencing this eclipse has a safe time, enjoys yourself, and let's hope for the best so we know nothing bad is going to happen. And we'll see you in tomorrow's video, hopefully. With that being said, have a good day.